Hey everybody, it's Tuesday and that means it's time for Tuesday Tips with Trish. I'm Trish Carr, Women's Prosperity Network. And every Tuesday you can tune in for tips on sales and sales communication. So today I wanna to talk about speaking to groups. Oftentimes when I ask clients uh, that I'm working with and we're preparing a speech, I ask them how much time did the organizer tell you that you had? And sometimes I'll hear, well, I have 30 minutes plus 10 minutes and a Q&A. And that's great, but here's what I wanna do. I wanna control that entire time. 10, 20 minutes and a 10 minutes Q&A means I have 30 minutes. I decide how I wanna manage questions, not the organizer. So here's my advice. If you are going to have questions during, make sure that you have the skill to manage your audience during your talk so that you can move people along and that they don't take up all of your 30 minutes. Oftentimes, when you start a talk and you just do it, most people don't interrupt. Most people don't raise their hand. Unless you're in an environment where that happened before you, most likely people will not be raising their hand in the middle of your talk, unless you've invited them ask questions throughout. So if you want to, you can take questions throughout. Just make sure you know how to handle it. Secondly, have you ever been at an event and somebody speaks for 20 minutes and then they say, now I'm going to open it up for Q&A and nobody raises their hands? Like that's really not great either because, you know, you may think, oh, wow, I said so much. People really understand me. But most likely, A, they're not interested. B, they're so confused or C, they just want to go home. <laughs> so opening up for q and I have to tell you, you might want to have a plant or two in the audience if you're going to open up for Q&A at a particular time so that at least you can keep the conversation going and you can also put in the things that you want to say. Third thing about Q&A, you can actually not do a Q&A at all. And nobody will care most of the time. If you're told you have 20 minutes and 10 minutes left for a Q&A, just do 30 minutes. Now, here's the thing. If you're going to make an offer, an invitation of some kind to invite people to work with you further, that's the last thing you want to say. So if you are going to do any kind of Q&A, you want to do it before you close, before you end up with your recap, where you remind them of the value that they've gotten, where you remind them of the why they may want to work with you further, that comes last. So your Q&A has to be before that. So to recap, number one, do your best not to do a Q&A at all. Number two, if you're comfortable on your feet answering questions throughout, then allow them and see if you are going to do a Q&A of any particular time, do it before you invite people to work with you further. This is Trish Carr with Women's Prosperity Network and your Tuesday tips. Go out there and have a fantastic time while you're out there speaking. Enjoy your day.